Hi my dear friends this is Rayan you are watching HSS YouTube channel friends today i came with a new topic about safe manoeuvre calculator friends many hsc officers struggling to create safe manoeuvres for the project friends here i am just going to explain in excel sheet which is very useful for all hsc engineers and hsc officers and even managers also just you have to collect daily manpower data from hr department or timekeeper once you got manpower data on a daily basis in the excel sheet i have given some formulas in the excel sheet to collect automatically safe manoeuvres so friends in this video you just provide input your uh, daily manpower then you will get automatically your safe manoeuvres friends this format link i have provided in my video description you can download from there friends this is a full format of excel sheet for automatic safe manoeuvres calculator friends this excel sheet is very uh, useful who are making hsc manoeuvres on a daily basis friends here give title project safe manoeuvres and safe test data and here provide your project number here i provide my project name or external to project and here provide month which is you are going to making uh, december 2020 and location here provide your location qatar saudi whatever it india just provide location here and here friends uh, let me explain one by one create here date columns and here main contactor column and second one is subcontractor columns and total man hours column and save days columns friends here dates date means whatever dates you have one two three four five until 31st whole month days dates you provide here in this column after that here see main contactor in this main contractor column here provided main manpower hours of work and man hours here friends as on 1st december 2020 we have manpower 300 and on that day we worked 10 hours then 300 multiply 10 is equal to 3000 you can see here values changes automatically okay and as on 2nd December 2020, we have manpower 200. Okay, hours of work 10 hours. Then total man hours will be 2000. And after that, as on date 3rd December, we have manpower 150 work 10 hours. Then multiply after that, it will come 1500 safe man hours on that day. Here I provide blue line because of friday we have 8 hours duty so just i mark for understanding here on that day we got 100 members worked and multiply with 8 is equal to 800 safe man hours on fourth day okay friends and 5th december we have 50 manpower multiply with 10 hours 10 that days we have worked 10 hours only so 50 multiply 10 is equal to 500 means fifth date we got 500 man, man hours and uh, sixth day we have holiday so we did not work on the site so i put zero here and also you can see here zero man hours on sixth date like that friends you have to provide manpower data on each date so that and hours also you provide here then you will get safe manoeuvres automatically in the manoeuvres column friends here you will see here subcontractor if you have subcontractor just get subcontractor manpower data for example a subcontractor as on date 1st december 200 came to site then they worked 10 hours so 200 multiplied 10 is equal to 2000 here so you can see values changes in manoeuvres column and as on december your subcontractor manpower was 150 worker 10 hours so 150 multiplied 10 is equal to 1500 
you can see your value changes and third day third december you are subcontracted manpower 100 so hours work 10 hours so 100 multiply 10 is equal to 1000 save man hours on 3rd december here friends on friday the manpower is 50 your subcontractor manpower is 50 on friday and work hours work 8 hours so 50 multiply 8 is equal to 400 so friends like this you have to provide manpower data and hours of work then you will get total man hours here you can see total man hours column these two main contractor and subcontractor man hours data will be coming here in total man hours you can see here blue words you can see here each date man hours will be appear in total man hours you can see here main contractor and subcontractor man hours will be appear in total safe man hours for example 1st december we got 5000 safe man hours and 2nd december total man hours we got 3500 and 3rd december we got total man hours on the day 2500 and 4th december we got total safe man hours 1200 like that friends uh, we have to uh, get we will like that we will get safe man hours friends here I, I forgot to tell you one thing previous safe man hours here see previous column you just provide here 30,000 I think you are thinking 30,000 for what this uh, 30,000 safe man hours was from my project starting to uh, November 31st I got 30,000 safe man hours so that 30,000 safe man hours I will provide here then it will take automatically in downside you can see here it will calculate 12700 man man hours will be for the december and this is a cumulative 42700 will be cumulative means 30000 plus 1200 uh, 12700 will be cumulative 42700 safe man hours friends here you can see total and average also you can get cumulative also you can get from here friends also save days column provided here in this format from my project starting to november 31st 2020 we have completed 303 save days so friends here previous uh, save days i provided here in this column and here you can see 303 after that 304 and 305 306 it will calculate automatically so it will be also very useful so friends hopefully this video is very useful for